Welcome back to Blile Dev. Today we're going to be going over how to format text fields in Flutter. So let's dive into it. So what we're going to be doing to format our text today is we're going to be using the pattern formatter package. So let's go ahead and copy this in. Go to your dependencies and your postbec.yaml file. Add in that dependency run pub get. Okay. Then I've already actually shelled out just a very simple text field here that we're going to be using. So it's going to look like this. Um, and what this text field does is I've set just some basic decorations for some hint text and some styling for the input text. And the most important thing that we're going to be using, however, is this input formatters field. And so if we go actually to, let's go to the API reference, you'll see that there's a couple different libraries that they've established, date formatter, numeric formatter, and pattern input formatter. Um, we are going to be utilizing this first formatter, thousands. So let's go ahead and add that. And actually I can put comma. And I'm gonna import it. Okay, now that that's imported, um, VS Code was having some issues for me, I apologize. Um, let's do one more thing. Let's do keyboard type, I believe it's input type, text input type dot number. And so this will restrict it so that when I rerun, it'll restrict it so that I can only input numbers if I'm the user. So when I have the keyboard up, um, it'll only show numbers. The user won't even be able to input any um, letters or anything else. Okay, so let's try this out. Pull open the keyboard. You'll see here it only allows for numbers. And you'll see anytime it hits a new thousandths, it tacks on a comma. So that's the first one. The next value is to just slap on decimals. And to do that, they have this allow fraction field within the thousands formatter um, object, and we just set that to true. And so now I'm going to say dot, um, actually let's not set a keyboard type for this example. Okay, let me just refresh that. There we are. So I'm going to say one. Doo, doo, doo. So it does the same as the other, but it allows for us to slap on decimals at the end. Okay. The next different type that you can use is the credit card. So we're just going to use this one, credit card formatter, and it'll add in the spacing for us um, that we need in order for it to be a credit card. Let's open up the again now it is important to note that it will go on indefinitely just separating every fourth so if you want to limit it to just um, a certain amount a certain length then you will need to put a little bit of logic in there to prohibit them from typing too far um, not a huge deal though um, the next one is date Okay. So let me refresh that. So the only downside with this is the only downside with the date is is that it won't default to that value. Um, 
until you type in a single number, it won't actually show. And also you'll see here, it does allow for other types of text. So the way to get around that is to simply just say keyboard type, input type, I'm sorry, text input type. Just say dot date time. and just set it to number. That way they're only able to type in, um, let's refresh this. They'll only be able to type in numbers this way. And that's it, just really simple usage of pattern formatting. So just to review, and I recommend if you want to look, explore a little bit further, um, the pattern formatter API documentation on pub.dev but we have four different types. We have to the thousands with integers, to the thousands with decimals, credit card numbers, and date formatting. If you found this video useful, make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel for weekly Flutter content. I'll catch you guys next time.